Hey everyone, Jose here from Rivian Tracker, enjoying a beautiful day here in Central Florida with some nice weather. Got the windows open even. Um, my truck is currently at the service center getting some work done, but I do have a Rivian R1T loaner here that last night updated to the new uh, 2023.38 update. And so I just wanted to walk through a couple of things very quickly, some new stuff here. Uh, make this a very quick video just showcasing some of the fun new things in this new update. And um, yeah, let's get started. All right, we're here in the truck. As you can see here, we are running 2023.38, uh, which is the latest new version that just came out uh, yesterday, October 16th, 2023, uh, and started rolling out to uh, a large number of R1T and R1S owners. Um, in this version, um, there's a couple of new things uh, that we want to talk through, but probably the biggest update that we'll spend a little bit of time on is when you head on over to the new drive mode screen, boom, look at all of this beautiful data that we have presented here now. Um, as you can see, Rivian's team, uh, the Rivian software team has just done a phenomenal job creating this new beautiful uh, display here. Uh, which features a bunch of nerdy data, as I call it, because, I mean, this is the type of stuff we want to see, right? Us uh, EV nerds and, and all the data. Before, all of this was hiding behind secret menus that most of us did not have access to, <clears throat> only Rivian did. But now, they've redesigned this drive mode screen uh, to be completely revamped with some data. So, when you first open this up, you're going to be presented with uh, this kind of page here, as you can see. And uh, we'll kind of start from here and then we'll kind of uh, go in deeper into the different pages. So as you can see here on the top left corner, we have the different drive modes. They're now broken out into on-road, off-road, and trailers. Now, if you have yourself a dual motor variant uh, R1T or R1S, you will not see the off-road version, obviously. So you'll only see on-road or trailers. But in the quad motor versions like I have right here, you're going to see off-road as well. So you have that. Now, uh, to swipe here, you see these different drive modes. So you have all purpose, conserve, uh, sport, and snow mode, as you can see. So what's really cool is that for this, they made it very easy, whereas you can just swipe and it will change the modes for you. Swipe. You know, for sport mode, hey, do you want to lower the right height? Sure. So there's your sport mode. And then you've got snow mode. So you can swipe through very easy um, options right then and there and the vehicle will easily swipe through all those. Uh, you also have a little reset button here, which resets all of the data and all of the parameters for that specific drive mode, which is really, really nice. Now, we've got the toggles here on the bottom. So from here, you can hit you know, up and down if you want to adjust the right height. Up for standard. As you can see, it makes the adjustments there. We can set the regen to high. We can keep the stability control on. We can have it reduced. Or if you press and hold, it will turn it off completely. Again, turn it back on if you like. And then your ride feel, so soft or stiff, which is really, really nice. And again, this settings are all adjustable per drive mode, so it's really cool. If we go back up here and click off-road. Are you sure you want to go into off-road? Yes. Now we've unlocked additional new, or not, not new, these, are, these have existed or here before, but now you have the different drive modes. So you have your all-terrain, rock crawl soft sand mode rally and then uh let's turn that off drift mode so again you have all the different right heights going on here it will adjust everything necessarily as you know as you as a uh, see fit and of course you can override anything you like and if you want to set it back to default you just hit the little gear uh, the little return button and it will change it back to what it should be we finally have the new revamped trailers menu. Now this is really cool. Rivian has set it up so that you can have up to three customized trailers, which is great because what that means is that you can, you know, if you have different trailers that you utilize, you can set up a profile for each one and it will remember all of that data. So you can come in here, you know, it uh, calculates range, efficiency, weight. You can reset it if you want to. All of this data will be, uh, will start being pulled as soon as you connect a trailer to your vehicle which is really really neat and you can come in here 
give it a name if you like whatever you want to change it to that way you know what it is so if you have multiple trailers or, or whatnot you can actually uh, control them all through there really 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 cool um <clears throat> now let's go back to on road here we're back to all purpose mode now let's talk about the gauges and all the fun fun the, the, the uh, different things that driven that is so when you're in a drive mode screen here if you just swipe this away you are presented with this awesome graphics uh package and widgets as i like to call them of uh different information what's really cool here is if i move the wheel the wheels turn which is really really neat right you can see um up there where your wheel is facing and how straight it is and all that um we have your compass elevation which is really really neat because this will track your lowest and your highest point of elevation as well as your current elevation of where you are you have your trip a and trip b you can reset it by clicking the little reset icon you have your battery temperature your tire pressure information will populate here as you start driving the vehicle and then in this case because we're in a quad motor vehicle it will measure the the temperature of each motor if you were in a dual motor version you would see two gauges there this is really really neat and as you're driving and uh, regenerating the tires will fill up in green when you're regenerating and in blue uh, or black when you're um, you're using power which is really neat now right now we're in on road if we were to change this to off road as you can see some of the data would start changing so now we're introduced to two new widgets pitch and roll which is really really awesome and really useful when you're off-roading as well so a uh, huge shout out to Rivian for that and uh, as you go back to on road it will bring that information back to you so I am just obsessed with the way this screen looks I think they did a phenomenal job doing this so 10 out of 10 Rivian team design team software team like everybody just you know really did great um, can't wait to start getting this information and being able to bring it over here to the driver display that would be really cool so um, again just a plus on that um, now let's talk about another update that came to 2023.38 and that is for the Rivian R1T they have enabled a new camera and so if we come down here click on the little truck that brings you to the rear view and then if we tap it again it now gives you the bed view this is something that we've been wanting for a long time this camera we know has existed there on the top of the Rivian bed but right now for the most part it's been inaccessible and only accessible by gear guard uh, but now it has been unlocked and so you can use it so when I put the truck in reverse I can tap here and it will bring it into um, <laughs> so you can see it. you can see the the camera working there and it will bring it into view and you know again you can change it so you can do this view if you prefer where you can have the, the the two cameras left and right or if you want to have the bird's eye view and the bed camera again there's the front camera the rear view and then the bed view which is great so phenomenal work by the rivian team on that um it's great to be able to see that and it's just great to 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 be able to to do to be able to see all these things so um, again a plus work rivian if we go into the settings here again 2023.38 which is great um fun to see it there and then um not really much else at this point um one some, something that unfortunately i didn't get to record because i i you know it only pops up one time is when you first uh install 2023.38 and you come to your vehicle you'll see a little sparkly icon next to the drive mode and if you click on it it will actually take you through a very quick walkthrough tutorial of the changes to the screen so um again they did a really good job of making sure to educate owners um of what changes have been done and uh and yeah again a plus i love it um it's just it's just great and um what's really cool is the, the graphics here change right you have little footprints and rocks when you're in off-road mode and if you go back to on-road mode you have these uh rivian compass icons that show in the background so it's a little attention to details that makes rivian's ui phenomenal um yeah so that's really it um there's other bug fixes and whatnot also um uh, as of recording this video it's october 17th but um halloween mode has been um 
pushed with this update and that means that beginning on october 21st uh you'll be able to unlock halloween mode and so once that happens i'll bring you a video guys on how to do that and what cool features get unlocked for halloween mode so i'm really excited to share that information with you guys when that happens but again it's just great to see rivian uh do all these things and um and be able to to just continue to bring out incredible software to an amazing vehicle and i can't wait to see what else they do i'm sure there's so much so much more down the pipeline that they're working on and uh, i mean i'm just if this is what the future holds for rivian software then you know keep doing it guys you guys are doing great anyways thanks for watching this video i hope you enjoyed it um don't forget to like subscribe and favorite this video and then uh, I'll be sure to bring you some more awesome videos uh, here in the near future. So thanks again, guys, and uh, keep on adventuring.